Hi, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today we're going to talk about cooling in these trucks. Uh, you know, any good mechanical engineer that studied thermodynamics will explain to you that a radiator or, or, or a AC condenser or, or a charge air cooler or an intercooler or any type of cooler, any type of radiator that's there to dissipate heat is only as good as its ability to transfer heat. When you have a truck that's got a couple hundred thousand miles on it, it's got a bunch of road grime and bugs and all this stuff uh, that, ha that have clogged up the coolers, um, the AC condenser, the, the, the intercooler and the radiator, and then, you know, of course, the, the transmission cooler, like on this excursion, and uh, the power steering cooler. These things only work as good as they, they ever will when they're new. But as soon as they get any mud or dirt or grime on them, they, they don't work as well, and as a result, you may run into a problem where the truck won't cool enough, especially under load. So, if you've got a couple hundred thousand miles on your truck, you need to pay attention to what I'm about to say. One of the things that you can do to, to handle this is to use a, a AC coil cleaner. AC coil cleaner, you go to Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, any hardware store will have this. This is designed for cleaning the coils in your AC unit outside at your home, your business. The only problem with this stuff is it's kind of caustic. You don't want to get this on the paint, uh, especially if you have a painted bumper or whatnot. You don't want to get this on there. So I'm going to suggest to you that you remove the radiator and a charge air cooler in your AC. You know, it'd be a good time to service your AC and whatnot at the, at the beginning of the summer. So what we have here in front of us is the excursion. Uh, it's my old excursion. Uh, my son G owns it now. Um, you know, we, we're in the middle of changing out the grill to an actual 05 setup, uh, uh, grill and bumper. So we decided at this point we'd take it apart and clean, the, clean all the radiator and whatnot while we have it apart. So this stuff is pretty simple to use. Uh, you just spray it on the coils and let it soak for a few minutes and wash it off. And you will be surprised at the mess that will come out of these these coolers and radiators. The first thing that sits out there in front of everything is the AC cooler and a lot of people like to use pressure washer to wash these things uh, and it's really a bad idea. In fact you can see what a pressure washer does. It actually lays down the the coils and makes it so that air won't flow across it at all. Um, and it just pushes the debris into the AC condenser further. So really the only way to clean this is with this type of cleaner. Once you have the coil cleaner applied to all your coils, then about the time it takes to smoke a cigarette or go get a drink or something, uh, come on back and she'll be ready to clean. Important to note, you don't ever want to use purple power on aluminum. Uh, it, it'll, it'll ruin the aluminum. It actually makes it oxidize and, and ruin it. So this is really your only good option. You know, use this coil cleaner that was really designed for these type of air conditioning units. You know, these look like they need to be serviced, weeds growing up around them and all. Uh, it's just a matter of washing it out with a good strong hose. You don't want to use pressure. You don't want to use a pressure washer at all. But look at the look at the crud just jump right off there. Just comes right off. And this is what you want. You want all this black stuff to come out between the coils. Every little bit of debris is going to make this cooler work with less efficiency. So you want to just take your time and clean out all the coils so that they're as clean as they can be. And you, you want to keep going until there's no more suds coming out of the unit. Once you get all the suds out of there, then she's as clean as she's going to get. But see, it just lightens and lightens every time he takes the water across it. Then look how much cleaner that is, just with one application of it. Now, if you got a real nasty one, and this one's not particularly nasty, but if you got a real nasty one, then uh, you need to, to do this twice. Let it dry out and then spray some more on it and do it again. See, look at the stuff that came out of the, the radiator and whatnot. This is all like leaves and stuff, little pieces of leaves and little road debris that's, that's got caught up in the radiator uh, and is causing it not to cool like it should. Um, this, is, this is a big deal. I mean, if, if you want your truck to run as efficiently as possible, then you have to have maximum cooling capacity. And the only way you're going to achieve that, especially if the truck's, you know, 10 years old and got 200,000 miles, the only way you're going to achieve that is to pull this stuff out and clean it like it should be cleaned and, and reinstall it. All right, so, you know, Spot has almost 900,000 miles on it. We've done this little trick several times to this truck. It's a necessary part of maintenance to clean the radiator, intercooler, AC condenser, and have it done correctly so that the, the systems will work. Because heat is the enemy here. And heat is what will kill your engine. Heat is what will kill your transmission. 
and being able to manage this heat and making sure that, it, that everything's cooling like it should is absolutely crucial to making your truck live as long as possible. Because it may be one of these things that you don't really notice it until you put the trailer on and you're climbing up a big mountain like Mont Eagle or going over the Continental Divide on the hottest day of the year and it's a holiday and we're going to the lake, we're going to the campsite and all of a sudden your whole vacation's ruined because the vehicle overheated. Okay, and you're stuck at a Ford dealer, or, or, or worse yet, some side road place, jack leg, you know, on the side of the freeway that's going to charge you a bunch of money, like, kind of like Chevy Chase in vacation, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a really good idea to do this. This is a preventative maintenance item that needs to be done, especially if you've got a bunch of miles, 150, 200,000 mile truck, it's absolutely imperative that you do this. You'll be amazed at what you see come out of your, your coolers on the front of your truck. Also, if you're watching my videos, and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a PowerStroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for power stroke owners on the internet.